It is a living, breathing, artistic project where the canvas is the body, the paint inked onto the skin, each person with a different story to tell, with the goal to bring people from all over the world together who've made a permanent tribute to the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights on themselves. Well, I've never had a tattoo before um, and I never thought I'd get one. Um, but when I read about this project, I just thought it was so powerful and important. And the fact that it connects so many of us around the world, I was just like, that's the one reason why I'd get one. This project is inspired by the declaration itself, all 6,773 letters, that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. But it's not just about the letters, it's about the people themselves, their stories and their lives. Yeah, it's just, it's a scratch. Yeah. For Ali, it is about her commitment to helping young people and empowering them to know about their human rights. Working for and with young people is kind of a specific passion of mine. Um, they're the future and we need to support them. So the idea that I'm kind of imprinting that message on myself feels really like, important and helpful. It is the biggest art project of its kind. For the past 11 years, artist and founder Sander Van Bussel has toured 77 countries to raise awareness of the declaration and to meaningfully connect those taking part. It is partially self-funded. Sometimes grants or donations by a pay-as-much-as-you-want system go back to the project so it can take place in venues that can't cover the cost. It's also a reminder of the message at the heart of the document. We are carrying this declaration together and making it come alive. As an artwork, it's not signed by me, it's signed by all those thousands of people. So in that, in that way it's community artwork rather than my artwork. So I'm merely the architect of the concept. From Mexico to Nepal and Zimbabwe, one by one, letter by letter. A testament to the document that enshrines our human rights is being etched out, connecting, reminding and uniting. Sonia Gallego.